everyone, today we're going to talk about how to zest a lemon without a zester. And by zester, I'm usually referring to what's referred to as a channel knife or citrus zester. So first thing to think about is what is lemon zest? When you're talking about a lemon, you have like the yellow part, the rind part, that's where the zest comes from. You don't want the white pithy part that's underneath the rind before you get to the juice. So you really just want that yellow part. It contains essential oils, a lot of that lemon flavor, which is a really great way to add flavor to salad dressings, sauces, whatever. Lemon zest is wonderful for that. But if you don't happen to have a channel knife, which is a very specific kitchen tool, there's a few different ways you can still get zest from your lemons. Before you start zesting your lemons though, the thing that you probably need to know is how to buy the perfect lemon because good lemon zest starts with good lemons. So a good lemon typically feels heavy for its size. It should be firm, give a little bit when squeezed, but not too soft. The main thing is heavy for its size and you wanna look for skin that's nice and even color and yellow. You don't want any green on the lemon at all. Once you purchase the perfect lemon, when you bring them home, you want to actually wash those lemons before you zest them because you're gonna be using the skin in whatever recipe that you're going to be using, it's important that that's clean. You don't have to do anything fancy. You don't even need a fancy vegetable wash. You can actually just use baking soda. Put the lemons in water with a little bit of baking soda and let them soak for about 15 minutes. They found that baking soda can actually clean produce and remove pesticides even better than bleach. Super, super easy. Soak it for 15 minutes and then just rinse it off and now you're ready to start zesting your lemons. One thing that you can use that you probably have on hand to zest lemons without a zester is a box grater. So typically, you know, box grater, cheese grater has small side holes and large size holes. So you can actually use this side of the box grater to zest a lemon. You don't need a fancy gadget. The next thing you can do is actually use a vegetable peeler. Most people have a vegetable peeler on hand. So the thing with the vegetable peeler is you wanna remove the peel, not the pith, from the lemon, peel it off, and then you can just take a chef's knife and mince it up as you would need it for. So you can use it for a salad dressing, sauces, however you wanna do it, just chop it up as needed. Super easy with a vegetable peeler. Lastly, you can use a paring knife, just like a vegetable peeler, peel off that peel, and then just chop it at the end. So you don't need any sort of fancy gadget to zest lemons. So for the box grater, you wanna place the fruit at the side of the smallest holes on the box grater, and just move it back and forth like you would cheese, rotating the fruit as you go. Just be careful of your fingers. For the vegetable peeler, peel away the yellow part of the fruit. Use less pressure to make sure that you only get the peel and not the pith. Then just chop the peel with a chef's knife. If you're using a paring knife, slice one end of the lemon so it'll sit flat. Then take the knife and carefully cut away the sides, starting at the top towards the bottom, just cutting away the peel. Again, like with the vegetable peeler, take that leftover peel and then mince it with a chef's knife. So once you have that zest, there's a few different ways that you can actually use it. And by use, I mean store it. So here's how you store lemon zest. So fresh lemon zest, if you put it in the fridge in an airtight container, it's only gonna keep for about a day. It won't last too long. Once you peel that lemon, it's gonna spoil. Secondly, you can actually take that zest and freeze it. So put it on a lined baking sheet, put it in the freezer and freeze it, and then transfer it to a freezer safe container. Frozen lemon zest can actually last up to six months in the freezer. The one pro tip I have is to break out the lemon zest, how you're going to use it. So if you've zest a few lemons and you have a pile of lemon zest, you probably want to segment it off into like teaspoon measurements. So that way you can easily just grab that frozen part and toss it into whatever dish that you're using. The last thing that you can do is actually dry the lemon peel. So if you have lemon zest, you can lay it out on a lined baking sheet, just at room temperature, let it sit out until it completely dries out. Completely dried lemon zest, which is great for lemon pepper, if you wanna make homemade lemon pepper, or however you wanna use the lemon peel, can actually be stored in an airtight container and stay fresh for two years. One of the main things to consider is that once you peel a lemon, remove that peel from there, the lemon itself is not gonna last that long in the fridge either. You wanna put this in an airtight container in the fridge and it'll only last about three days. That's the one thing about peeled lemons. Compared to whole lemons that you have not touched, if you store them in the fridge, they can actually keep up to six months. So that's how you make lemon zest without a zester. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment down below. And if you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. See you next time.